All right, what is up, guys? Let's get going here. <clears throat> hello, hello. What is up? Let's see. Do this. Oh, what is going? On, What's going on, Cookie? Uh, did I apply the patch? I don't know. Let's see. Elden Ring current patch. It should have done it automatically. Yep, 1.0.3 is what we're playing on right now. Eating dinner, what you having? I had some chicken and green beans tonight. It was good. A salad. What kind of salad? Anything in particular? Like toppings or, you know, etc. All right, how do I play this game? It's been a minute. I don't want those. Go away. Do I want any of these? No, I don't want bolts. Go away. Mixed greens, pita cheese, and carrot miso ginger dressing. That sounds pretty good. Okay, so um, last time we were in the uh, in this area, the uh, volcanic manor, volcano manor. Uh, we killed a godskin noble man. I don't know where I'm going right now. Um, but we, we beat that boss, which was all good and whatnot. And now I we have to, I guess, continue through, if I had to assume, you know. Uh, okay, so it said precious item ahead, but that lift doesn't work, so we're not using that. Unless there was a shortcut right there. What does this say? No item ahead. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, of course. Why would I? Why would I swing at that? I mean, I, I knew that well, there was nothing there, but I still did it. But Anyways, we beat that dude. Now we're gonna just continue through this area, I guess. I think I spent everything, so we don't have to waste any. Yeah, we don't, we're, we're good on runes. 1,000 left. Uh, yeah, let's go. Let's see what happens. I don't know how much bigger this area could get. Like, it looked like it was pretty small, but we've explored a lot already. Um, how would one get over there? Oh, probably walking around the side, you know, following the path. <clears throat> okay, so be wary of liar, liar ahead. Like across the bridge, there's a liar, or right here. Bridge, thank you, Elden Ring. <clears throat> Golden Rune Nine, that's pretty good. Kind of spooky music playing in the background. What's gonna happen? So we're on this side now. Seek despair. I don't know if I want to seek that though. Why would you want to seek despair? Visions of sadness. If only I had a physical bottle. <laughs> oh. Okay, hold on. All right, so my brain's too small for this. We missed something already. Because this is clearly a dead end right here. Unless you jump off into the lava that leads deeper into the volcano. What's up, Retro? How are you? Okay. I guess let's go for a, a little adventure. Golden Rune 12. I think that's the strong, the, uh, the highest level one we found so far. I'm not doing too bad. Uh, still adjusting to puppy fatherhood. Um, it's been a busy, busy last couple weeks. No, uh, no, no free time, that's for sure. Puppies uh, tend to need your attention like 98% of the time. So the only time I've been really gaming or anything has been during, uh, during stream. Which is honestly quite a, what? Okay, well, we just died. <laughs> Which is honestly quite a, uh, quite a bit less than I normally would. Because <clears throat> I was going to like, you know, power through this game, but... You know, we have we ended up getting a puppy like right when it came out, and obviously you got to put in the work at the beginning. So, but overall, it's been pretty good. All right, let's try this again. I don't like that helmet very much. I do like the OG Knight helmet; it always looks good. All right. You went to adopt a year old dog uh, and when you picked her up, she was eight weeks old. Slight communication, miscommunication there, but we got through it. Yeah, that's how old uh, Dexter was when we got him. He was eight weeks old. Um, but yeah, that's a, a very slight community. Like how that, how would the person selling slash giving the dog away make that mistake, right? 
But yeah, sounds like it all worked out anyway, though. And honestly, he's been really good, so I can't really complain about his demeanor or his attitude. He's been doing pretty well. It just uh, takes a little while to get used to constantly washing something and always making sure it's okay. Because like we have, pe I have Pepper as well, my cat, and she's uh, obviously very low maintenance. She just kind of chills. We're calling finger remedy, but okay, so we need to go up further. I'm assuming. How would one do oh. Oh, alright. Uh, so what I'm kinda wondering now is if this area was meant to be a side area or if this is part of like the main story. Because I'm pretty sure the main story wants me to go to the capital right now, and I'm not in the capital, I'm in fucking the volcanic manor, so. It looks like it's gonna continue to be spicy. Oh, really? Hello. How'd that even hit me? Oh, I just died. Fucking. Unless this, this is probably not a teleport one, I'm assuming. It's probably just a kill one. Yeah. So what I'm wondering... Look, giant snakes. Uh, they're, they're statues, though. I feel like the last boss of this area is going to be a giant snake. Because we fought snake people everywhere. I think it's a pretty safe assumption. So, let's see here. I was actually thinking about other builds that I'd like to play, and I'm kind of thinking it'd be fun to play like an assassin, like bandit-esque character, like dual knives and try to like use the bow a lot. Um, Cause I've used the bow for a total of like 30 seconds in this game right at this point. I thought it'd be kind of cool to like toy, like play around with that concept. Uh, not for this character, obviously, but like in an additional character, or maybe like you know finishing the game then respecking. Because we have so many respec chances in this game, like it's not like you're missing out on anything. Like I think I have like three or four larval tiers right now to respec, so. But it's just something I was thinking about maybe doing. If there's a bone in a game, you eventually use, end up using it as your primary weapon. So in Souls games, that's generally kind of hard to do. Um, they usually aren't very forgiving with using a bow for a lot of content. Uh, especially like boss fights in particular. But, I mean, you could do you could do it. It's definitely, I've seen it done, so you could definitely do it. I mean, people beat the game with a fist weapon, which is just your character's fist. So, I mean. I got caught again. So I'm swinging into the, the fucking belly of this thing. I'm just not going to kill me, though. At least that way it's not going to kill me. I feel like we're not doing as much damage to this thing as we, we were to the other enemies in the area. But this might section of the, the volcano manor might be meant to be used, like, done later, maybe? All right, like, what is that? Why, I don't know. I can't fight these things tonight, apparently. Oh, I just realized it's holding a baby. Well, a fake baby. It's a statue, but... So what, what do you do? You kill that thing, then run across under the bridge there, I guess. Well, we're farming runes, I guess. It's like I've never played one of these games before. So apparently in the patch notes for this game, they uh, they, they greatly nerfed um, a lot of the exploits people were using, especially in the speed runs. Like there was a an ice ability that's actually on the axe we have. I don't have it on me right now. It like shoots out the ice wave in front of you. It's called Horfrost Stomp. Um, and that was like the, the move apparently to use in the speed run to like clear a lot of it. And obviously you can always switch your patch back if, if you're doing a speed run. Like people would just like install whatever patch they want to play. Um, but it's, it's just kind of interesting that like for like the, the general audience, they can't abuse that mechanic anymore. I think they like balance some other stuff as well. I, I kind of, I like skim through the patch notes. It, whatever, all, none, nothing that changed is really going to affect what we're doing with this build, which is just smashing things with a big sword. Um, the only thing that it will affect is that we can fully level up our greatsword to 25 now, and there's not like a number glitch going on with the damage numbers. 
So that that's obviously good, but all right, I need you just to fucking stop. Thanks. All right, do your stupid. I'm gonna bite you. Do it. Like that's no damage there. Maybe this one's special in some way or something. Oh yeah, the the mimic tier also got heavily nerfed. He's not as smart as he used to be. Also, how are you doing, Nicker? What's up? Stab in the chest. Oh, come on. It didn't count. That one did. Ow. Yeah, I feel like this thing should not be giving me this much of a problem at this point in the game. Even though it is. Alright. And it was worth 3,000 runes, which is actually a lot for a single enemy. That's a pretty nice chunk of change right there. <clears throat> which would explain why it was hurting so badly. Oh wait, we got snake boys, we got snake boys. Precious item ahead, is this true? Is there, is there, there is a precious item ahead. Alright, so we'll upload that. Finish it up, finish, you're doing good. Finishing some, oh my god! Finishing some stuff up for your dad, they'll be back. Alright, cool. Uh, yeah, they bite you. And apparently have a fire ability that looks cool. I'm gonna eat this, though. Alright. Okay, that damage is wild, actually. Like, what is that? All right, so where does this go down to if I jump down there? Do I want to jump down there right now? There is a precious item there. It'd be cool to find a gray site up here before I did that, just in case it's a pain in the ass to get back. And will the game allow me to have one? Oh, yeah, come on. Boom. Oh, he didn't die. Yeah, things here are a little tankier than, than uh, the previous area. Before the, uh, the god skin here, or whatever the fuck its name was. Seek Scarab. Oh. Um, we'll jump off and get it. Big bomb. Alright, what do you give me? Somber Smithing Stone. Alright. I knew that one was there, but I was going to try to approach it through the lava, which probably would have been a death, so I guess that's good we didn't do that. I still need to go get the uh, quote unquote precious item. We should just do it. We should just do it because I'll forget it. I'll forget it's there and I won't go back for it. So let's just go now. I still think it's funny how little damage you take from lava in this one compared to the other Souls games. Like I'm literally rolling in lava, in metal. This should be melting to my skin. Just about to say that. Yeah, they, they greatly reduce lava damage, which I think because they expect you to walk through it here, like, you know, like in other, in other Souls games, it like depletes your health like instantly. Unless you do a bunch of things to stop it. Crimson Tear Scarab, that's another helmet. That's the third Scarab helmet we found. Probably wasn't worth coming down here to get, but it's good to have. No ahead, ahead. And this just brings you back right here. Yeah, so we went up there. All right, we didn't go around this little corner, I don't think. Let's see what's over here. Um, I don't know if I want to go that way. Jumping or if only you had a pickle. Pickle for what? Up. What level is my sword? 14. That's not bad, all things considered, I don't think. I don't know what it should be for this area. Like, I think this is this area is optional from what I'm thinking. So if that's the case, this it might be, you know, a little bit harder than like going to the capital right now. Which means the boss here might be a little scary once we get to it. Like the big boss, because we fought a minor boss here. Yeah, I bet you can't walk out into that part of the lava with the waves. <laughs> There is an item down there. 
Do I want to go down there right now? Is there a safe way to go down there? Is there a ladder? There is a ladder. Okay, we'll, we'll take the ladder. All right, what do you have? What do you, What is this? Be a good item. Come on. Drawstring fire grease. I don't know what the difference between regular fire grease and drawstring fire grease is, but we got it. Yeah, what I've noticed about the greatsword, the regular attacks are not great for enemies that are like on the ground. What are you doing, dude? Come on. And these are regular Alban albaneric men right here. Not the crazed ones. Is it a fake wall? Absolutely not. Why would it be? Come on now. Oh, but there is a shiny. A purple shiny, which is, is better than a regular shiny. Missionary's cookbook. Nice. Another recipe I'll never use, but we got it. And an albaneric blood clot. I don't I don't know if we picked up one of those. That's a crafting item, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if we've had that one of those yet or not. But we got one now. Which I guess is good. Okay. Um Let's head on up, and then I think we'll just keep going through this area, as scary as it may be. Uh, I went down there already, okay. So we're gonna progress this way. There was a ladder over here, right? I feel like this is one of those zones that has a million different pathways through it. If it, it definitely if it's an optional area, they're gonna want you, is that a friend? I thought there was a bug on me. It was my fucking mic cable. Are you okay? Are you, you're not a friend, are you? Do you have a head? Oh, you're dying. All right, we're in here. Yeah, yeah, you're not a friend. Oh no, Lizard Man saw me. Please tell me you guys have played Soul Calibur. Lizard Man, best character in the game. Hey, Iker, welcome back. You're only gone like a minute. Oh, he's a long boy. I love these fucking long boys. I love how they extend out like that. I think it's incredible. Not best character in the game? Who's best character in the game then, Cookie? Who is it? Oh, God, you blow up. Uh, I think Lizard Man's been like in everything. Ivy? Ivy is a good character. Wait, I know why you like Ivy. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Wonder why Ivy's the best character, Cookie. Oh, the whip blade. I'm sure it's the whip blade. There's no other assets that Ivy possesses that makes you like her as a character, huh? Um, the one with so you retro. You played the one with Spawn Link and Hey Hachi. Yeah, I think I've I've played that one. Was that like PS3 era or is that still PS2? I this, I recall this. Ivy's good. No. Just no, you're just gonna say no. It was PS2 and Xbox. Okay, I played that one then. I played the PS2 version because it, it had Heihachi in it, right? And the Xbox version had Spawn and the GameCube had Link. I, yep, I recall this. I also played the one with uh, Yoda, Starkiller, and Darth Vader. Um, Starkiller being in both of the games. Uh, Yoda being on, on Xbox and Darth Vader being on PS2 or PS3. I'm sure, not sure what era that one was either. Okay, so this just wraps around to here. You can't drop down there. That one was really good, though. I can't remember which one. I, me and Pidgey were actually talking about this the other day. There was one of the Soul Calibers that were, had like a, a whole campaign in it where you like would make your own character, and it was like a, a strategy RPG. They like moved around a map and stuff. That was really fun. I can't remember which one it was though. Offer seed. What is this dude doing? Is this a little? Oh god! Oh, it's a whip! It's a whippy snake. That's pretty fucking sick, actually. Okay, that's pretty cool. He's also bloated for some reason, which means he's probably gonna spit poison or something. Ow. Get that weapon. I will, uh, try. I, I don't know if he drops it or not. Rock throw! And another rock throw! Uh, he did not drop his weapon. Mortal Kombat did a bunch of weird stuff with campaigns about the same time. Hey, what's up, TZ? 
Uh, yeah, I played, um, so my first Mortal Kombat was Mortal Kombat 1 and 3 on the Super Nintendo. Um, but after that, I didn't really play a Mortal Kombat again until Deception on PS2. And then whatever came after, it was, um, whatever came after Deception. I played, like, all the newer Mortal Kombat games, though, because I, I love Mortal Kombat. Um, but really, Mortal Kombat 3 is what made me fall in love with the series. Sector best character. Well, Sector followed by Scorpion. Followed by Smoke. Followed by Sub-Zero. Um, okay, so none of these. Ah, no, I take that back. Sector, Scorpion, Cyrex, Smoke, then maybe Sub-Zero. But the ninja version of Sub-Zero, not the regular um, with the mask. So I think that's Bayhan, because there's two Sub-Zeros, if you guys didn't know. One is evil, one is not. Well, one I shouldn't say is evil, he's a dick, he's an asshole. Okay, so apparently I cannot react fast enough. Spoiler, for a game that came out before I was born? I guess. Come here, Snake Man. Oh god, the long boy attacks again! No! I still love that attack. I just love his length. The length! Yeah, I'm burning through a lot of resources right now for this. Oh, we got some herba. Man, serpent, ashes. We can summon the long boys now. We'll probably. We should. Is that a fucking snake bird? It's a snake bird. Um. All right. So hold on a second here. Was there anything in this room? Were we good here? We were good here. So we're working our way back inside, like the living quarters of the manor. Because there's supposed to be a quest line here for one of the NPCs we've met already, but I don't know where it's at. I mean, we—I I may have passed the door or something. Very, that's very likely, honestly. I'm hoping it's somewhere in this area that before we get too far in and fight like a boss that will mess the quest line up, possibly. I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's a snake person that's really bloated or what the fuck is going on right there. But they're looking at me, and I don't like it. Like, what the fuck am I look? What am, what am I looking at there? Like, what is that? Oh, shit. Uh, do I have any stone sword keys on me? I probably am out by now. I have one. I need two. Try right and then praise jumping. Okay, so I need we need to buy a stone sword key and come back here and open that. Uh, some of the merchants in the world will still have them. Um, but we need a gray site first to do that. All right, what, what, what am I... I really wouldn't know. It, it definitely is bloated. Maybe it's pregnant. Wait, never... I'm not sure what's wrong with that, that serpent. You're now traveling into Nocron. Nice. Why are you so puffed up, bro? What is going on with your face? I don't, I don't understand what I was looking at there. Hopefully one of you guys do, because I sure as fuck don't. Uh, you're now traveling to Nocron. You beat the tournament arc and trying to progress Ronnie's quest line. Okay, that, that's that's actually exactly what I did as soon as I beat Radon. Is went to Nocron, which I think is what they want you to do. Likely death. Pickle required ahead. Be wary of dragon. Great. Um, I would love to have found a grace site over here. Maybe we, we just take a quick lap, make sure I didn't miss something. Also, we can heal. I don't know why I'm not using this. Do that. Do a little passive heal as we run around. Nothing over there. Nothing over here. I did go up here into this room. That needs the stone sword key. What is it? Wait, so is this just the same? Yeah, we're just back down here now. You're also stuck on the two Iron Maidens, boss near the Volcano Manor. So, yeah, they're kind of a pain in the ass. So I could see why you'd be stuck on them. Um, I don't I don't like those Iron Ma the, uh, the Iron Maidens at all. What goes in hard and dry but comes out soft and wet? Jesus Christ. What? What is it, Cookie? Because my, my mind went straight to the gutter, as intended. Gum. Okay. You're right. 
That, that does happen with gum. Can I get back up? Yes. Commander, com I'm sorry, commoner's headband, the opposite of a commander. Not as bad as you thought. Um, all right, so. I can definitely walk through there. Oh, come on, Basilisk, really? Either die of petrification or burn yourself alive. It's funny how they don't take water damage. This is a Christian stream, remember? Oh, I forgot. Um, wait, will this work? Hold on. No, okay, flame cleanse me does not work for petrification. No, 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 come on. I want you guys to come out of there, please. I'm right here. I just want your item, sir. I come in peace. All right, that was a waste. You know what, I'm just gonna just mosey on over here while you do your thing. Really? Well, I guess somber smithing stones could be important, depending on what weapon we end up using after the... Unless we use the greatsword the whole time, then I don't know if it matters, actually. Unless you need them for higher level upgrades, which might be a thing. Alright, so I'm officially out of all my resources now. I am not in the best spot for where I'm at. There are snake people coming out of the lava. That is not something that I expected to see happen. Um, I've been in here before. I have. Do I need to fight this man? Is he chasing me? He's probably chasing me, isn't he? Oh, okay. Hold on. Hey. Oh, he's Extendo Boy. Whoa, 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 whoa. You got friends. Hold on. Hold on. I did not sign up for a gangbang. That is not what was in the contract. I'm going up here. We're not doing that. I think, um... I think we're gonna go. Wait, 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 wait. Tan Volcano Manor Proprietress. Why is she marked specifically? Was she always there? Hold on a second. That's the uh, the person we like sided with. Ex Extendo friendo. Yeah. Um. Hold on. Like, yeah. What? Right, can I interact with you? The drawing room is through the hall. Use the key I handed you. So I, I went into the drawing room. That, that was that door over there. Wait, I didn't use the drawing room. What the fuck did I open then before? Didn't expect Snake with visions of love. Lovable sort. Is there someone, supposed to be somebody in here? Is something supposed to happen? Okay, so never mind. The drawing room key just opens all these doors. It's not just the one door that I opened before with it that I thought was what the key was meant for. Oh, fuck! Hold on. Recusant finger. I don't know what that does. And a letter from Volcano Manor. Hold on. Recusant finger is blue. Okay. Attempts invasion of other players' worlds. Um. Oh, okay. So it's another invader item. Okay. And then we got we get the letter. I'm assuming a letter is in these items. Maybe not. What is that? Oh, the bell. The bell. The bell bearing. We need to give that to the merchant. Where is my letter? And why would it not be? That wouldn't be a talisman, would it? No. Oh, here we go. Uh, Old Knight Istavan. He can be found on Limgrave. Uh, find the red mark on your map for the exact location. Uh, you can go into someone else's game uninvited. In a way, 
Cookie. So if if you have like for example, if I summoned RP in my world to do co-op, and we didn't have a password on our lobby, I, we can be invaded by other players who are invading at the time. Uh, you don't look. Are you okay? You're. Is she okay? A pleasure to meet you, Wave Tarnished. I am Raya, the Scout. Very pleased to welcome you to the Volcano Manor under Lady Tanith's guidance. May you tread the path of Valor. <clears throat> Are they friend or foes when doing that? So, you can summon your friends in. If you're invaded by an invader who is not friend, I think like two invaders can invade you at two or three. I believe if it's like the other games, you can also, you, you bring a friend in and you can also, people can also come and help you by in, like, coming to your invaded game to, to try to fight the invaders also that's general radon right there who are you you what in heaven's name are you doing here the volcano manor is a pit of recusants who spit at grace and hunt our own kind i hope you understand the weight of my words. that's the war master guy i'm pretty sure uh, i mean I, yeah what, what don't we understand about that well as long as you understand what you're saying I thought you were tarnished, bred by virtue. Perhaps playing that part led you to your doubts, I wonder. But know that the path you walk is blasphemy and leads only to a miserable death. Before you consider hunting any of your own kind, think on that. Uh, shit, okay. This blasphemous, before you can. All right, this is the dude from the round table, I think. Yeah. Oh, oh it, I... It's, it's you, is it? I like his armor. Well, nice to see you again. So you've been invited as well, I see. Then we're comrades in arms henceforth. You watch my back, and I'll watch yours. So, take it. I, um, well, you see, I, after much internal debate, I've come to realize revenge is not the answer. According to Lady Tanith, I've got the stuff of champions. And champions, ironic as it is, are oft forced to walk a tainted path. He sounds it hit me manipulated like a little bit. Blue, <laughs> that my former thoughts were simple naivety. Of naivete. Course, my heart weeps for Lanya. That unfortunate incident was a cruel twist of fate indeed. But succumbing to the pain and sadness caused won't make me a champion, will it? I guess not. Lanya knows this, I'm certain. She's dead, dude. I don't think she knows anything. hard roads for us both, but such is true of any road trod by champions. Okay. I always resented these hands. Their pale complexion. A far cry from any warriors. The shame of House Hoslo. But that won't be the case for long. They'll be darkened by grit once I've set out on the path of champions. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood, after all. He seems like he's all right. I always resent. Okay, so he's so that dude has disappeared in your lobby. That is because he is looking for L Lanya, who I believe he finds in Lyernia dead. Brave tarnished under Lady Tanith's guidance. May you tread the path of valor. Is no one going to give me anything? This blasphemous before you. All right. Well, that was kind of annoying. I thought somebody would at least give me an item or something. So this is the pe these are the people that I thought I missed, which I clearly did. They were right at the beginning. I thought they were further in the manor or something. If that is not true. You're not. Yeah, you can't. You can't attack anything now that you open that door. Um. All right. And there was nothing in here, either. Okay. So we need to go find a merchant really quick. Um, fuck. Where was there a merchant at that I could get to easily? Oh, you know what? Hold on. There was one down here. Uh, in this part. I think it's... I want to say it might be, like, right there. Um, right there, I think. Because this is that, that... Seofra Riverbank. I think it's too far away. Oh, wait. So, hold on a second. I think these icons are new. This might be part of the patch because these weren't here before. So that must be one of the, the part of the 1.0.3 patch they just released. That's a, a nice little convenience. Imagine reading the patch notes. I, I skimmed them briefly by skimming them. I mean, I saw what some people were saying on Twitter and never actually looked them up. I was actually going to look them up at the beginning of the stream and just read them with you guys, but I 
yeah, I, I didn't do that, obviously, so. All right, I don't remember how to get to this guy. You have to go all the way around? That's annoying, because I'm going to get sniped. I just need to buy a swordstone key. Hopefully he has one. No, my luck, he won't have any, so it won't matter anyway, but we'll, we'll, we'll give the old college try. Oh, he's looking at me. There's fucking snipers over there. No! Oh, wow, well, look at that timing with the wireless controller low. Am I going the wrong way? I think I am. This is definitely not how to, how to get to that merchant. I have no idea how to get to him, though. Shots for St. Patrick's Day. I actually forgot today was St. Patrick's Day. Um, I knew, I remembered earlier, but forgot in, in between then and now. Um, I actually had some drinks for St. Patrick's Day at last Saturday. This might be as easy as going like right over here somewhere. He wasn't hard to get to. Uh, it does count. But I say it does. Uh, let's see. It's it was like not hard to get into where he was. I thought. There we go. No, it's up there though. Fuck. All right, why do I pick the hardest merchant in the game to get to? Honestly, like, come on. I just want a swordstone key to open up the shinies. Eight balls is the hardest merchant in the game to get to. Very doubtful. Uh, of course it is. I like don't. I have literally no idea how to get to him. And I'm like stuck in combat now. I don't even know where this goes. We're taking it though. Eight ball. Do the shots count if it's not on the holiday? Most likely. Thank you, eight ball. Okay, fuck that merchant. That was a stupid decision. Why'd you guys let me make it? There we go. No, Kenneth has a quest line now that's active. They fixed that one. That was in the patch notes. What is this? Volcano Manor request for Istvan. Oh, look at that. So we can go right there and do that, I guess. We should probably do that before we um, finish Volcano Manor. There were other merchants, I swear. Wait, here we go. Oh, I think this is the one we bought the key from already. Let's see. Uh, yes. Okay. Here. Thanks for nothing. Uh, did we go to, to, did we buy the one from the merchant at the beginning of the game? We'll see. Kale. You're back. You have nothing useful. I'm buying that. Actually, I'm buying all these recipes too. Goodbye. All right, so you're not helping me out here. Please have a stone sword key, somebody. Cause I'm gonna forget that's there if I don't do it now. Um, who we got here? Nomadic merchant. We'll try him. again there we go nice all right so now back to the volcano manor actually let's do the istavon thing it's right there let's knock it out um we can go from where is the there's like all right what, what would the best way be to get there we'll go from Warmaster shack and go straight through which this guy should be gone right now because he was at the manor 
the one in the and, and you mean in in Caleb? There's a merchant in Caleb. Is that what you're referring to, uh, Iker? I have no idea where he's at. There is. Those are the tree wolves over there. We're gonna ignore all the tree wolves. Like holy shit! Don't know what that's about. Oh my god! Wait, what? Why are there so many? Wait, what is going on here? Damn. All right, do I have to fight these fucking things now? All right, whatever. Fine. This is what you wanted. All right, well. Hitting a wolf on a horse would probably not be very easy, conceptually. Fucking from soft dogs. All right. So where is this dude at? Oh, is it a is it a duel we're doing? Invade old knight Istvan's world. Oh, okay. Fuck it, let's do it. I don't know if this is good or bad. We're gonna do it. See what happens. So Cookie, imagine this NPC was a real player. That's how PvP works in Dark Souls. Ow. Oh. Except this this is about how I would do PvP against a real person. Oh no, what is that? Oh, the gravity well attack. I overthrew it, really. He just poised through my lightning bolt. You heard your name from the other room? I was explaining this is like what PvP would be like. Um, if, if this is obviously, this is an NPC we're fighting right here, but like, Conceptually, this is how PvP works in Souls games. We invaded this NPC's world and we're killing him now. Drop your armor. Got a rune arc and a feral fall. Feral calling finger remedy. When are we going to invade some people? So I actually need to invade three people for a quest line. So like, I could do it if you want. Hey, we got that. We got. We did. We actually got his armor set. All right, we got to try it on now. Um, scaled set. Where would that be? Not under heavy armor. Oh wait, is it? Is it very heavy? Oh, it's it's very heavy. Well, I don't like that helmet anyway, so it doesn't matter. But the armor might look cool. Um, it's not bad. I still think I think the Gelmir looks cooler. Maybe the gloves. Uh, they don't see. They don't match the uh, the armor we have on now, though. And and it also creates a heavy load, which I don't want to do. Yeah, like those don't match either. Those don't even look that good. I think what we had on before looked better. I think the got the um the ray of the Karya gloves look really good with this. Um. And then we can do scale grief. Those actually look kind of dope. I like that, but it's we're way of we're way over encumbered with that. You wanna wait, Iker, are you volunteering to help with the invasions of real people? Is that what you're referring to? If I end up doing it, I can pull you in. I don't know if I'm gonna do it on stream or not. I might just do it at some point. But yeah, definitely if we're gonna do it. You're more than welcome to tag along. I don't, actually for invading real people, I don't know if we can do it as a team. I think I don't think you can invade as a team. We could we could do like fight bosses as a team though. Um Cause that'd be kind of busted if you if you and your friend could both invade somebody. You know what I mean? Who did I do this for? So okay. you blooded your sword in the hunt. Then I shall introduce myself once more. Banal. A recusant just like you. Recusants have particular battle arts styled to our methods of slaughter. 
Why not add some to your repertoire? Okay, so we got stamp. Stamp. What does that do? Stamp upward. Oh, upward cut. Okay. Indoor. War cry. Spinning slash. Impelling thrust. Quick step. Stormblade. Eruption, I think, is new. Assassin's Gambit uh, is new. Parry and no skill. We should get no skill. Actually, we should buy a lot of these. What does this do? Eruption skill of the knights who serve at Volcano Manor. Slam armor into the ground, uh, spawning royal and lava which spouts up upon release. Um, I don't know builds either, honestly. Icker, I kind of just wing it. It's all about looking cool anyway. We should buy some of these cheaper ones just to have them. So Assassin's Gambit. The Occult Affinity. Skill that masks the user's presence at the cost of self-inflicted wounds. Oh. Um, I'm gonna get eruption because it sounds cool. You've come to understand now, eh? To take power and make it his own. The recusant must hunt his own kind. To raise the flag of revolt against this sanctified pillaging, we recusants must become the most wretched of predators. All you can do is laugh. Well, until we meet again. That helmet's actually kind of dope. It's like two wolves. Huh. I always resented these. All right, I thought you might have like. Okay, you don't have any quest line. Have you any strange Ooh. sounds here at the manor? Something <clears throat> beyond the walls, like breathing or slithering scales. Wait. Oh, fie! What am I saying? It just is impossible. I must be tired. Wait. Sometimes I like. Wait, wait, wait! Hold on a second. They don't know about the snake people that are everywhere around here. That's kind of hard to believe. They don't know about the snake people. Is there a chamber of secrets in the manor? Maybe. What is your deal, dude? Is that a is, is that a statue or? No, they're breathing. It's a person. Did you read the letter left for you? That is the task the volcano manor desires you enact. You will be compensated once the deed is done. Good luck. If you are loath to hunt your own kin, so be it. But you must leave this house at once. This is a war against the Erd Tree. We have no place for the meek, nor the luxury of keeping clean hands. Yo, what's up, Artie? N not a statue, he's a nice guy. Well, that's a Crucible Knight armor set. So if he's a Crucible Knight, he's not a nice guy. You've completed your task. I am pleased. Now you are a recusant true and a full Don't worry. Uh -huh. of the volcano man. Sure. This is your reward, as promised. Magma shot. All right. Never forget that the recusant fights to tread the path of the champion. The way is tainted, but for this very reason, it is the true path to valor. Now you are a recusant. Okay. Please. So that was. The first quest, I, I'm going to assume there's going to be a couple. You don't know where I'm at, but you can tell where I'm not at. I'm in the Volcano Manor. Who the fuck are you? Hmm. You're tarnished. Here to put the demigods. Oh, quest line wise? Okay, yeah, I don't know. Then please. Kill the great serpent, the one that devoured Praetor Rikard. I left the serpent slaying spear in the Lord's chamber, worthy tarnished. Brandish the spear and run him through the great serpent. That unspeakable monstrosity. All right, so there is Big Snake. I knew there was going to be Big Snake, I assumed. Uh, where the fuck is bro at? Okay, he's gone. This is this another leather? Okay, who are we killing now? I'm gonna do all this right now if I can, actually. Uh, that letter was over here. Uh, okay. Rylai the Idol. You can be found on Altus Plateau. Find the red marker map for the exact location. Altus Plateau is right here. Um, so we would want to go. I have no gray slates over there? First Mount Gelmir campsite does not seem where I want to be. I could go 
from here and just ride up there, I guess. Should we do it? Should we just do it now? Let's just do it now. I'm doing it now. Uh, we'll kill him, and then we, we might get another quest after that. Um, we're going to try to finish Volcano Manor tonight. I don't know how far it takes to get to the Serpent, but we'll do it. It's easy. Yeah, I figured, I mean, I'm assuming these are just NPC invasions, which shouldn't be very scary, generally speaking. Unless, like, the NPCs are way stronger than us, then they could be scary. But um, The question is, can I ride this road out to where he's at? I think so. Crab. Big crab right there. Oh, yeah, big crab. You're, you got burnout. You're level 120. Still have a lot to go. Damn, what level am I? I am level 82. Dude, just power through, finish the game. You're going to start playing again tomorrow? Nice. I'm not chasing that, dude. Fucking ring your bell. I don't give a shit. Just don't bring anything that's going to kill me. Yeah, like I said, don't bring anything that's going to kill me. You did. So I don't think I've actually ridden over here in the Altus Plateau yet. And I probably should have. No, we made it. All right, Rodley the Idol. I can't wait to fight a fucking mage. Oh, you just stop and kill everything so it takes forever? Yeah. All right. Ah! Really, a crossbow? Ow. Oh, it, it, it's a Scarlet Rot crossbow. Uh, let's not get Scarlet Rot on us, please. Yo, nice blast, bitch. Is that a Reduvia? Runark and the finger. Yay. Eight ball is streamer going to be playing Elden Ring the rest of 2022. My sources say nope. I would hope I wouldn't, it wouldn't take me the rest of the year to finish this game. That'd be a little too long, I'd say. I'll snap at some point, Cookie, and just play a lot. Like, a lot, a lot, and get it done. You threw, like, nine rocks at him and shot a blue beam in him? Well, you're playing, you're, you're, uh... Yeah, I mean, the, the sorcerer can do some crazy shit that, like, just pumps damage. I see you've performed another task for us. Here is your usual reward. Please, take it. The Serpent Bone Blade. Now, perhaps the time has come to tell you of the true ruler of this manor, Lord Rikar. Like a snake ate him. The Erd Tree blessed the Tarnished with grace, but it was all too meager in the face of the enormity of their task. The Tarnished were forced to scavenge, squabbling for crumbs like the shard bearers vying for power in the wake of the shattering. Our lord, indignant, has refused to scurry about, fighting over what mighty <sighs> scraps they allow us. If the Erd Tree, and indeed the very gods, would debase us so, then we are willing to raise the banner of resistance even if it means heresy. Good. We at the Volcano Manor, under Lord Rikard, have sworn no rest until it is done. If you follow this heroic path, one day the Lord will see you. Pretty sure he's dead. The Lord's visits with our champions are always a spectacle. It cannot come a day too soon. <laughs> Bear back.
It's ridiculous how, how big that sword is. Thank you. Thank you for commenting on my large sword. Um, we got a tick emergency again. For some reason, he likes to get ticks when I'm streaming. I don't know what the deal with that is. He needs to chill with that, though. Um, all right. So, what was I doing? Okay, yeah, we did the, we did the quest. Let's rest and see if we get a third one. Oh, I can look at that weapon, I guess. We got Serpent Bone Blade. Uh, it is a katana. It looks cool. Does it have a special ability? Double Slash. That's cool. Look at that. The red letter. This is important, I bet. Okay, we're gonna do do do. Final request letter is vivid red. Juno Oslo, Knight of Blood. Oh, is the fucking dude who was just over here? Uh, he can be found on the mountaintop of the giants. Find the red marker on your map for the exact location. The mountaintop of the giants is how the fuck? Okay, well I can't go there yet, so we can't do this right now. It is not this guy. It must be his like brother or, or sister. Ah, oh, it's you, is it? I'm terribly sorry, but would you mind giving me some time to myself? I haven't achieved anything at all thus far. Even though I've dirtied my hands time and time again, I'm still yet to achieve anything. Perhaps I am a fool after all. No, it's worse than that. As things stand, I've given up on the path of revenge and sullied the name of my house. What an easy mark I must have been. How did it take me so long to realize, honestly? There's just no end to my foolishness, is there? All right, well. Look at you. A recusant through and through. I knew you had it in you. Take this. Another letter. A special oh. invitation to hunt some of the first tarnished who sat at the round table hold. If you should accept, I'll next see you on the field of battle. Wait, who does he have me killing? I don't... Vargrim? Okay, so it's a... It's not... It's just a, a dude. Okay. I was, I was gonna say, I don't want to kill the people who are at round table hold right now. I feel like that'd be bad. Um, I don't... Can I get to him, though? Hold on, let me, let me see. We'll see if we can do this or not. I don't think we can, though. Because, like, we can only go right... Yeah, so we can only go... Unless it's right here, which it, it might be. Uh, I think it's a little too far away. Yeah. Okay. So we can't actually do this one yet. Where did that quest marker go that I put down? There it is. Do I have a home gym? Uh, yeah. It's in my garage. It's just like a, I have a rack, a bench, uh, some, some free weights, some dumbbells and kettlebells. Bands, that kind of stuff. I, I started buying stuff like during the pandemic and stuff like when it's first like started and then I eventually was able to get like some free weights and stuff once they became available again. Okay, so I want to go to the temple of Igle, I think. And what was that noise? Nice, you just bought a rack online today. Sweet. I didn't spend a lot of money on my stuff, to be honest with you. Um, like, it was um definitely not like... Like, I didn't drop, like, thousands on it. I um, But I got I got a decent rack. It was a couple hundred bucks. Um, and it, I just had, like, a, 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 you know, a movable bench to go underneath it. Um, the most expensive part of all of it really was the bar that I got for it. Because they were out of the, the cheaper version of the, of the bar for the free weights. So I ended up getting a nicer one, but... I would say I have less than $1,000 invested overall, and I'm very happy with it. And I think that's not that bad, generally speaking, because I got, um, I was able to get a bunch of uh, bumper plates from a buddy who was selling them. They're rogue bumper plates, which are very expensive. He sold them for me for a really good, really good price. Like, if you look online for how much, like, 300, like, I have like 400 pounds of rogue bumper weights. Those are, that's like $1,000 by itself. Um, but I got it all for 300 bucks. 
And they're actually in really good condition. Like he like he took care of them. Like they were in a garage. They they weren't like abused and beaten up or anything. They are yeah, weights are expensive. Yeah. Especially like so from what I've heard, like back in the day, like a dollar a pound was like the, the deal you would get. I could not find weights now for anywhere near a dollar a pound. And like I said, the only reason I was able to get a lot of weight was because I had a friend who was selling the weight, you know. But it's been nice to have that. Like I've I've I like going to the gym though. Like it's not like I don't like the gym. Um, but it's nice to just have the convenience of like walking out your door and just being there. It's a good thing you don't have a lot of upper body strength, so you don't need them. Hey, you're gonna gain that upper body strength though, because you're gonna start lifting, and then you're gonna need it. So it, it comes full circle at some point, regardless. Uh, did I take this somewhere? Where does this go? Oh wait, look at that. Should I know where this goes? I should know where this goes. Oh fuck, I missed, there's a shortcut right here. This is the shortcut elevator, okay. So we take that from there now. But there was a, an earlier drop off right here. Oh my god, there was one here the whole time. Well, it's okay. Where's this go? Oh, we, uh... Yeah, we're out here. Okay, okay. So we want to go in here. Yeah, and then we should go... Wait, no, 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 that's not right. Oh, there's a... Alright, somewhere over here is the direction I should be going. Wait, just don't attack. Just don't attack. It's okay. Let it happen. Let it happen. He was about to go extendo boy right there. I stopped him. All right, here's the whip man. Oh my god. No, no, no. Don't, don't stand in the fire. Don't stand in the fire. Oh my god, really? Wouldn't it be funny if uh if it would have left a uh a whip a dropped it, dropped its whip and left it right there and I died. Uh stone and sword keys, I'll show you what they're for in a second, Cookie. They unlock fog gates in this game. The gray fog gates. What's up, dude? Alright, see ya. Dexter came to say hi, then he left. So they are permanent. They are permanently unlocked whenever you get to them. <laughs> yeah, because I believe there's probably a finite, <clears throat> a finite amount of them in the game. So the question that I'm not sure of right now. Is, is if there are enough in the game to open all of the I, I would assume there's enough to open all of the the gates but there might not be extra so you might need to find all of the keys to open all of the the blocked areas but yeah so these little imp statues you put the keys in them this one requires two some only require one uh, this is more expensive which means it might have better loot behind it we'll, we'll see Oh, fucking hell. Are you st Of course. Why wouldn't you do that? Lightning spear, please. Thank you. Are you dead? Alright, you're dead. Alright, so how the fuck do you get over there? Um, okay. 
Apparently a lot of people have fallen off this ledge. Maybe we go down and then back up. Down. You gotta get up. You gotta go. Oh, I'm dead. I'm not dead. I'm gonna die now though. Oh, fuck. Hey, grab me? Oh, God. Alright, so that's fucking annoying. Imagine that happening to you in real life. No, thank you. It's like getting mauled by zombies. Shut up. It's a sorcery. I really spent stone sword keys for a sorcery again. Seed bed curse. It's a key item though. Um, all right, let's see what it is. Curse grown on a body defiled by the dung eater. Curse grown of a corpse killed and defiled by the dung eater. A tender, a tender pox afflicted with omen horns. The dung eater cultivates the seed bed curse on corpses. By doing so, he prevents dead souls returning to the earth tree, leaving them forever cursed. One of the most loathsome things found in, in uh, all the lands between. Okay, so that might be the item we need to interact with the dung eater dude, because he won't talk to us. Why is it always jumping? Ash of War, Ash of War, Royal Knights Resolve. Lord, oh lord. Why is it always liar? Oh, that's lying, probably. So wait, we didn't get that other item up there. I, I want to get that item. Hopefully we can go back and get it. I spent the stone sword keys. So I'd like to have the item that they might unlock. Hmm. Ash of War is the one of our abilities. Oh, fuck. We're way back here. What the fuck is Patches doing here? What's up, dude? Well, you joined the manor, huh? I don't believe it. Didn't think you had it in you. All good, though. We're on the same side now. We'll do good work together. Oh no, that's never a good sign. Oh, and of course, we can do business if you like. Patches Emporium at the Volcano Manor. Especially for you. Yeah, that's never a good sign if Patches is agreeing with what you chose to do because he's, you know, not a nice guy. Um, okay. So, I'm gonna buy that. Because... For that. Yep, thanks, you're welcome. Um, okay, so that put us way back over here. But I didn't get the other item we saw. And I, all right, so I need to go back to uh, the Temple of Eagle. We need. I want to get that item. Like, I, if it's there, I'm gonna try to get it. Um, do I need to take that? No. I. Or yes. Yes, I do. No. You go right here. He also said that 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 stone sword key was very expensive from him. Oh, we can try out the ashes of war we picked up really quick if I can put them on. Uh, I don't think patches has turned over a new leaf. All right, so we got this one now. We have this uh, fire ability. Let's try it out. That's pretty cool. You want to run with it for a little while? It's probably not great against the enemies here because they're fire based, but that's still sweet. Um, all right, and then we got Knight's Resolve, which is going to be. Maybe we can't use it with this right here. All right, Let's see what it does. Oh, I've seen people using this before. It just it buffs your weapon for an attack. We'll try the fire ability out for a little while. That looks cool. I like it. We'll, we'll get, we're going to go heavy, though, so we do damage. All right. Good enough. I 
I have a feeling we may, maybe maybe I took the wrong drop down path. That might have been what it was. All right, let's we'll sprint through here. Don't mind me, long boy. I'm just passing through. I come in peace. There's fire everywhere. Like literally everywhere. You jealous I don't work tomorrow? Ah, eh, don't be. I have to still get up early. We have to take Dexter to the vet for his first vet appointment, then I have a haircut. It's a busy day, alright? Yeah, it's not payday for me. So, silver linings, right? Um, alright. So, how the fuck would you get over there? Like, what would it take to do that? Wait. So, there's two items over. Is there a door over there, maybe? But that makes me think that I wasted my stone sword key, unless you you can't go this way from there. But I don't... I don't see... any other path to take besides the one that I took. That was intentional. <laughs> Alright, maybe you have to come from a different angle then, like the other side, to go to, go to that side and get those items over there. Um... We're gonna go with that, is the the answer. Eight ball, was that intentional? Your sources say nope. Okay, well, eight ball called me out. He knows. This armor's not bad. It just this looks so much better. It's so much cleaner looking. I don't like. I don't hate this armor either. The blood knight. I feel like this armor goes good with our big sword though. All right, the question is, can I get my stuff? We'll get our stuff and then keep going through the manor. Or this side of the manor, I should say. He extended through me right there. Still don't know what's going on with that snake up there with that giant ball on its head. It's like off-putting to me. Just be right here at the beginning. Please don't let me jump down. Just be right here at the beginning. Be right at the beginning. Uh fuck. Okay. And let's do it again. But this time we're gonna run through and not do that. So we're gonna we're gonna stay under the assumption that you have to come from a different angle to get that item over there. Or there's two items over there. It looked like there may have been doors behind it, so that might be the, the thing you gotta do. Spin to win. Alright. Calm down. All right, we're gonna run through here, go to the right now, and run up past the, the snake boy with the giant ball head. Very clean. All right. Just really quick, real quick test. Those enemies are super weak, so that should have worked anyway. <laughs> Alright, here we go. You know, that dude's eyes were glowing. I wonder if I should go back and kill him. Hold on. I need you to did you drop something. Do you take any fire damage? Probably not. Yeah, you don't. No! Fuck. Unnecessary damage. Alright, you know what? I don't care about you. Let's see where this goes. I feel like we're getting close to a boss. Oh, fuck. Alright, when I said close to a boss, I didn't mean, like, at a boss. I thought we'd be like, you know, oh... Whatever, okay. So, let's do... Vitality. 
drink a potion. No puppeteer. We get in here. Oh. Okay, that is the giant. That's a giant fucking snake wall right there. Okay. Serpent Hunter. Is this one of the, is this a, wait, this might be like the Yorm fight from Dark Souls 3. Or the, uh, the, the, the uh, the fucking, the Yorm fight, you, you use a special weapon to fight the boss, and also in Demon Souls, you use a special weapon to fight one of the bosses, and I bet this is the same concept, if it's giving you a weapon at the beginning of the fight. Uh, weapon that serves as both greatsword and spear. Thought to have been used to hunt an immortal great serpent in the distant past, it manifests a long blade of light, of light when facing such a creature. When their master's heroic aspirations degenerate into mere greed, his men search for a weapon with which they, they, they might halt their lord. Uh, perform a powerful forward lunge and follow up with an upward thrust via additional input. When fighting a great serpent, a long blade of light will appear, revealing the armament's true power. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, okay, that's what you're supposed to use then. That's pretty fucking cool. Uh... God Devouring Serpent. Oh yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. All right, Snick. Oh God, it's it's slithering. Oh, it's gonna eat me. Didn't. Yeah, get boop, get boop, bitch. It got arms. It's a snake with arms. Or is it a Hydra? Maybe it's only one snake, I can't tell. So it's kind of a gimmick fight then. Wonder if his weapon's at- oh shit. Dude, get fucked! Ow. Surely I won't die. Poison. All right, giant snake is dead. Really cool looking boss. Oh wait. Wait. Is he not dead? Cutscene, okay. Oh no. Hey, look at it, look at it. You got like hands and shit coming out. Oh, what's happening? Person. Okay. What a twist! Very well. Don't, don't. No. What are you pulling out of there? Oh, that looks that looks promising. Great. Fuck. Okay. Great. He's a giant sword. What the fuck is I wonder if that's Rickard. I think it is. I wonder if I can still use the spear or if it's like a real fight now. I still use the spear. Rickard, Lord of Blasphemy. This is a pretty epic looking fight. Oh no. No, you give me all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stab. All right, that still hurts him then, that's good. So you're definitely supposed to still use this weapon. They just made it a lot more interesting. Like not giving you time to channel. Ow. All right, 
I did actually not think this was going to be a two-phase fight. It's pretty sick looking though. I should be hitting him, not looking at him though. Oh god, there's flaming Oh no! Is this... Uh... This fight escalated so quickly. Why do he dog that way? All right, so we do not want to let him get that off. That is that is not okay. That's a cool fucking boss, though. That's a very cool boss. This weapon's actually pretty cool. Sword spears are cool in general. I like them. So, I'm surprised there wasn't an easy way back to that boss, actually. I bet I missed the gray sight before him. Because he seems like he's the main boss. Now, I wonder if, if I kill him. Alright, hold on. I'm going to look this up. Killing Lord Rickard. I, I want to... Effect quest lines. Because if that messes people's quest lines up, I don't want to do this fight. Alright, um... <sighs> Let's see here. Um, if I... It's not telling me. Please tell me. Does defeating Lord Rickard killed Rickard early ruined quest lines? Here we go. Okay, so we we all right. So we we can't we can't kill him yet. So we we don't want to kill Rickard until after we do this quest line over here. So we're leaving the Volcano Manor now. Then I know that. <laughs> It fucking sucks because I have all those. I, I have a, a bunch of runes over there that I just lost, but it's, it is what it is. This weapon's kind of cool. Alright, so let's just go like to the Craftsman Shack. Craftsman Shack? I didn't find anyone there. Uh, let's go explore down here. Yeah, let's go to the Earth Tree Grazing Hill and go down and look around. So we'll come back there later and, and actually do that boss fight then. Um, after we can finish the quest line for it. Hopefully I didn't break it already by, by meeting him. I'm assuming just meeting him doesn't break the quest line. And, and well, we, we did hurt him, but I, I think we're okay still. Um, obviously, if we're not, then it is what it is. But I don't want to miss the quest line if possible. It'd just be cool to see what you get from them. They'll probably give you cool items and whatnot. If it's like other Souls games. I mean, we, we already got a spell and, um... A spell and a weapon from it. So... Let's go exploring. What is that noise? Oh! Fuck me, a dragon! Ancient dragon Lanisax. I can probably fight you. Hold on. Can we fight him? What do you guys think? Try? Oh, that is fucking sick. That is fucking sick. Holy shit. That was fucking cool. Are you serious? Is it under fire attack? This dude looks in fucking intimidating.
Wonder why he uses red flame. Is he leaving? Oh. Fuck. Okay. Well, that was cool. Hopefully he comes back later. I think he needs moisturizer. He's a dragon, he's scaly. All right, so I think he may, maybe he just shows up to say hi and then leaves to like freak you out. Altus blooms, burbs. Whoa, easy there, buddy. Can I go down there? Hold on. Oh, that looks reachable. There's definitely a cave down there somewhere because you can see it right there. No, I, you can't go anywhere from right there, though. All right, hold on. Let's go keep looking around. It's kind of interesting that all of these, like, caravans are down here, though, also. Like, I wonder if there's an item in one of them. There's an item right there, actually. A nascent butterfly. Oh, well, that's a large sword you have there, sir. You put that bad boy away before you hurt yourself. I don't like those enemies, FYI. Oh, okay, that's, that's the the, uh, the preferred enemy type of this zone, too. Good. But yeah, I wonder where all these caravans are down here. Go. Oh, that was, that was not the right item. Ruler's mask and ruler's robes. hidden over here on these things like way up here nope why is it always tree <laughs> it's a wonderful question why is it always tree I really fucked that up what is that oh it's a skull give me this item vulgar bloom all right, I want to hurt this man. I want to see what this. Let's see what this uh, weapon art does against these guys. Okay, it does not stagger, which kind of bums me out. I was hoping it would stagger them, like he's doing to me. Okay, maybe he was just doing an unblockable attack or an unstaggerable attack. 1100, damn. All right. That attack is pretty cool. You can like follow up with it. Does good poise damage, it looks like. Two thousand or a thousand a pop isn't bad either. That guy's supposed to surprise you up there. Watch this. Oh, he fucking heard me. Look at that, he just did a butt slam off the top. Like a boss. Can I combo this? Not really. It's not, it's not as smooth as I was hoping it would be. That's really good damage though. You have to hit both, both hits have to connect though. So against weaker enemies, I think that lava will actually stagger them as well. Which will be good. Nice, smithing stone, always need those. All right, so the question is what's actually down here? Like why does the game intend on you venturing down into this hole? We got, what is this here? The abandoned, abandoned coffin. I didn't see a, a coffin. Where's the abandoned coffin? Surprise. Some fries. All rise. Thick thighs. It does kind of require us to tank some hits, but I do really like that is a very satisfying ability. 
The giant stomp attack is obviously really good because you can like thrust people into the air, which is, you know, always a fun thing to do. But that, that attack is pretty cool still. So there's a well there. It's a deep subject. I'm assuming we need to do something to get down there. Yeah. All right. Behold light, seek Elden Ring. Uh, that's not a very good tip for uh, what's going on here. Burbs. We got burbs and we got a giant well. Can I, can I jump in there? Probably not. No. So if... If that's the case, normally for stuff like that, you need to open from the other side or like ride up. Oh, no, oh, those are flowers over there. Where is this empty coffin at? Or this abandoned coffin? I don't see a coffin. This is a little suspect here. Wonder if that dragon's coming back. Maybe not. Turtle. Oh, there's an item back here. Oh, okay, I paid for that. That was a little instant ability there. Um, okay, where where oh where is there is there like a dungeon back here there gotta be something here we go you haven't found who yet Iker. okay who are you what is that what is that What'd you just do? The fuck it? What the, what the fuck? Oh, statue. Well, it's probably pointing. It's, it's gonna say there's a dungeon right there. Thanks, statue. Could have guessed that one. Oh, the dragon that I fought. Okay. I was gonna say, I'm not sure which character, which enemy you're talking about. Oh, it's right there. Another sword, a sword stone key. We need two again. Fuck it. I'll just spend all my sword stone keys. Who cares? You know, I don't need them for, you know, every other area in the game. Please, at least give me something good. Don't be a sorcery. I, I just don't want more sorceries. So I'm not using them. I want armor. Unsightly catacombs. I have a good I have a good feeling about this. Unsightly catacombs street screams armor. What the fuck are these things? Like demi those are the uh, demi humans. They're so fucking nightmare fuel things. There's a fucking friendship thing. Yo, that's a big. Oh, these are the guys. We fought these guys at Castle Morn, actually. It's like a tankier version of them because it's later in the game. Hey, Glove Wart will need that. not bad damage. Yeah, those, these beastmen are all fucked up. They got lizard tails, fucking wings, beast claws. Like, what is going on with them? Try opportunity. I'm not jumping down there. Right now, at least. First off, target lock. Is rats or beasts? 
Another beast. No, they're fucking. What are they? Oh, that was a dog. I like that attack. I think it's pretty cool. I keep thinking it's not good. I never saw anyone talk about it before, so I assumed it wasn't good because a lot of the videos I've watched usually say whether they think things are strong or not, and that was, that didn't make the running for any of them, but it still seems solid. So this is where we could could have dropped down. Am I getting ambushed? Probably. No? Be wary of up. I th oh, I killed them already, so we're good, I think. Visions of help me. Oh, no. Locked by... Oh, I missed the fucking... Okay, hold on. So this is a... Uh, there's a lever somewhere we have to pull to... Uh... Oh, you did not fall down the first time. I just walked right through here and you were not here. What are you, what are you waiting for? Alright, this is a, getting excessive. Alright, so I wonder... Oh, it's probably right there, I bet. Okay. Okay, that is a different drop down. Okay, so we want to get right here. Oh, this is going to be bad, isn't it? You're all alive, aren't you? You're not all alive. You're all dead. That's equally as concerning. We can get a misbegotten ashes. Nice. That's that enemy type here. Something's like hissing or something. I don't like that. This is the lever, though. Somewhere a heavy door is open. Prattling pays apologies and a rune arc. Awesome. All right. Well, I'm guessing the boss door is right here. Okay. You know what? How many rune arcs do we have? We have six. Let's pop one for this fight. Seek death. Let there be ruin. If only I had a pair. Strong foe ahead. Okay. So let's do our our standard buffs. Perfumer, Trisha, and Misbegotten Warrior. Great, a squad. Oh, it's one of those big boys. I don't know what she's doing right now, but it can't be good. So we're squatting up right now. Me and the, the old Mimic. All right, Perfumer, Trisha's got, got body. Let's body, let's get this guy now. She was perfuming. I think that's what she's actually. I think she actually was perfuming. As funny as what it sounds, because they were throwing some kind of mist out. Yeah, get fucked. Perfumer Trisha. So we got her as a summon. That's really what this all was for. Was for a summon from her. <laughs> all right, I guess that's something. I was hoping for like armor, or something, being that it costs so much. Summon her all the time. She might buff you or something. That might be why she's really good, if she is. Or she's like a legendary um, Ash, maybe. Oh well, we got her, so. Probably not worth my stone sword keys, but it is what it is. No. So is there, what is in here? Is this the perfume right here? Whoa, who are you? Oh, you're one of those things. Okay, you're a vastly weaker one though. Oh, 
Oh, we got their robes and gloves and boots. Wonder if their robes are cool. Try it on. Good for an edgier look than the old the old knight look we got going on right now. And we got a perfume bottle. Is that why we, we is that the reason to come here or is there more? There's probably more, I bet. Big tree. Oh. It's not a tree, it's a flower. It doesn't like fire though. Brighten the stamen! I think it's called a stamen. We talked about this the other day. Nascent butterfly. Really should find out what you make with those. That leads you to back here. Why did I fight my whole way through here? For nothing? For a nice view of fog. <laughs> I feel like there should be something here though. I mean, there's something right below it, so maybe, maybe not. What was that called? Unsightly catacombs. Like, usually these places have something in them. But maybe because it's back-to-back -back with another dungeon, they didn't do that here. Just put those enemies there. The guy had cave moss on him. Right, I'm just making sure there's no like little staircase anywhere that goes down underground that I missed. It appears like we're in the clear. All right, cool. All right, so we never figured out what the deal with this gray site is though, this abandoned coffin. Where the fuck is the coffin at? <laughs> it sounds like a stupid question, but like, where is it? Or was there never a coffin in the first place? Also, like, is there, is this really just a big open lake with these flowers in it? I feel like that's like deceiving, like there should be something going on here. Hey, look at that. Sage's Cave. I bet there's a spell in here. <laughs> if I had to guess. My money is on a spell. Alright, where is that omen killer set? It's not good. It's thick. Apron is worn in remembrance of Rollo, the progenitor of the Omen Killer's perfumer of antiquity. Uh, I mean, that's not like the worst thing in the world. Yo, what's up, Ev? How are ya? Omen Killer. Where's Omen Killer? No, maybe not. You hate Tonberries? Tonberries are rough, dude. Yeah, I don't like that. Not feeling it. Not feeling it. Dude, we can go Barbarian. Perfumers, Confessor, Omen Killer, Ruler. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to go back to what we had on. Which was the Gelmir. Yeah, we're going to stick with that for right now. 
Nothing like getting stabbed twice in a row while you've staggered uh, from the first stab. Yeah. Um, Tom berries, generally speaking, fucking dish out the damage if they catch you. They just want hugs? Yeah. Hugs. Hugs with the old stabo. Lost Ash of War. That's, we need that. That's good. They teleport. No <laughs> shit. I guess the game is really fast paced. You're talking about Strangers of Paradise. So it kind of makes sense that Tom Berries would move around a little more than they normally would. Alright, that keeps going in. Okay, there's a lot of guys here. Let's calm down everybody. A lot of chests though. Pickled foot, silver pickled foot, sorry. Black, oh a hood. I like hoods in these games a lot. I'll, I would swap, I would swap our helmet for a hood if it looks cool. Dude, hold on a second. We could do some cool fashion. It's like the hood from like the thief hood from the other games. Um, in this world, there's very little that must necessarily be known. What do you guys think? Do we do? Do we try to build something around the hood? I don't have a lot of options, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. It needs something different. I don't think I, I love the I do love that that piece of gear though. I, I use it in like all the Souls games, but I don't think it looks good. Like it almost would look just like you might as well just leave this if we're gonna do that. But I feel like none of the other sets right now go well with it. Like, none of them flow with it right now, so I can't really rock that. Yeah, I don't think so. Well, all right, so for right now, we'll keep our current fashion. <laughs> we'll keep this on for right now. I'm happy we found that, though, because I can use that definitely to uh, fashion souls it up at some point here again. Whoa, you're strong boy. What are you doing? I guess nothing, just dying. Oh shit, chest. Nice, we need one of those. Alright, that is very good that we found that. Did I, I, did I come from this way? No. Damn, a lot of chest. Dude, that sage was hiding a lot of shit down here, huh? Raptor talons, that's a fist weapon it looks like. And dragon wound grease. Look at that. I would have missed that chest right there. I'm waiting for the mimic. We haven't found a mimic yet. Golden great arrows. Dude, there it went from no hidden walls to like all the hidden walls in this dungeon. Raptors, oh my god, is that the fucking... Hold on a second. Hold on a second, that looks like Eileen's gear. That is, that is exactly what that looks like. 
Yeah, yeah, you got it, Cookie. Yeah, exactly, yeah. That looks like the, the gear that I wore during Bloodborne. Uh, robe crafted with the black feathers of bird of prey, worn by the assassins of Ravenmount. A ritual implemented for transforming into a death bird of only by imitation strengthens jump attacks. You do pay attention. I'll, I'll give you that. That was a good. That was a good catch. Now that would look good with. So that's why they give you this right here, because that would look good with this. This would be good for like a rogue character. I mean. Oh God! Put your mustache away, bro. Um, actually, yeah, I would go with Confessor. So if I put that on, we need to, like, do something with our legs. If we do, like, Bloodhound, would that look cool? Like a... I don't know. It's like, I'd like to have the cape on something else, you know what I mean? His, his name is Inigo Montoya. Great reference. You killed his father. That movie is incredible. Prepared to die. That helmet is fucking ugh. Look at that. How do you even look out that helmet? You fell for my class. The classic wonder. What is it, inconceivable? Alright, well that was 100% worth. We probably missed something in there too. There's probably more shit to get. Alright, so where is the assassin? Oh. Uh... I like how the Mimic is like instantly on him. Because it's an AI character, so it knows where the enemy's at. Dude, M Mimic is best, bro. Easily. Concealing Bell! What is that? Oh, is there a death root in here? That was a, a black handed knight person thing. Death root, death root, no death root down here, really? Didn't expect dung. Bastard. Praise the stealth. Alright, I didn't see where that what what uh that went into. Is it probably is it one of these over here? No. <laughs> um, alright. Where would that have went? That's not a crafting material. Is it key items? Fuck, I don't know what it was called now. Um, none of those are right. None of that. Shit. Tanner proper crafting perfume items. I don't know what that means. Like with these ritual pots and stuff. Like I don't know. I don't know what you do with that. We never figured out what to do with this either. Man, I have no idea where that would have went. Is it a, oh, it might be a talisman thing. Probably should pay attention to that stuff when we get it. There it is. Concealer conceals wear while crouching away from foes. That's actually pretty cool. So it's a stealth item. Now the question is, did I find everything here? Let's go back to the beginning. I feel like I didn't. That was pretty cool though. Definitely worth. That was a good cave. It was kind of well hidden though, so that kind of makes sense, right? I mean... What it, what's up, RP, also? What, would it be fun just to play with three people? I feel like the whole allure of playing in person is to have a full group. Why 
Why don't we just do like spell table with with a couple people? Like one day. Like if we can get like Gary and Tyler to do spell table with or something like that. One of the days. That'd be fun. That way we can we can play with a full group. No, she don't think that's gonna be possible either. Stop. I want to do a sanity check really quick to make sure I didn't miss anything down here. Just anything blatant. It's probably not going to be a full group for multiple games. Maybe I'll do one one game with four. Are you talking about on spell table? Wait, there's two bosses here? Okay, hold on. This is a twist that I was not prepared for. Necromancer Garrus. This, this is his catacombs, I think. Oh, look at that. Whatever that is looks pleasant. Hold on. Oh, it's a fucking roly-poly thing. Oh, it's a sna Oh, wait. It's a... Undead, I see what it is. Undead snail. Family heads. Oh, it's a weapon. Okay. Uh, is it a... What kind of weapon is it? It is... What the fuck? I didn't see it. Oh, what is this? It's a flail. Nice. The th three bludgeoning copperheads have attached to a handle by chain. Signature weapon of Necromancer Garrus, the her heretical sage. Familiar rancor. Gently rattle the copperheads to summon a vengeful spirit that chases down foes. That's pretty fucking cool. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, why don't... I mean, RP, do you want to ask Tyler and Gary if they would think they could play? on spell table one night like saturday or sunday or even tomorrow any night really it would work for people on spell table that makes it easier i mean yeah if we can't play with four i feel like it'd just be more fun to play on spell table then all right so we did all that i feel like i missed something else down here somewhere like, that should be a thing right there that I've not done yet. Why have I not done that yet? If I go... Fuck, if we go way back here, we could ride over there. Fallen runes, like, see, overlook. Okay. Let's go right here. Try to run through here and see if I can go all the way over to that area. I'm gonna mark that actually. I wanna get to right there if possible. It's funny, we haven't died yet. Our our souls are still at Rickard. I could run back to Rickard and grab them and leave. That is a, like an option. I should have spent my my runes before we did this. I have 46,000 right now and I'm just riding off into the sunset. Oh no, we got the fucking lobsters. I forgot about the lobsters right here. Wonder if I bid to this little tower thing. Nice. Alright, that works, RP. What are you up to tonight?
tree. Got home from bingo. Nice. Did you win? Did you get a bingo? Okay, that one. That's, that's still really cool. I've like I've played bingo before, like once or twice. I never won though. Um. Oh yeah, if anybody in Discord plays Magic, and you can use Spell Table, and you want to play with us, we play. Just like message me or something. Or like jump in Discord and say something. If anyone in chat plays, like Spell Table is a free app. You just need a camera, to po a camera and a mic, a camera to point down at your cards, and a, and a mic to, to talk, obviously. Uh, we, we usually play Commander, so if anyone's interested in that, that, that could be a thing. It wouldn't be on stream, we'd just play for fun. Like, off stream. That looks nice, whatever the fuck this fucking bulb is. Alright, it does not light on fire. Alright, those aren't, we're not worth killing, so we're not gonna kill them. Wonder if there's anything else down here. <clears throat> Blood Rose. The music is changing. Uh, who are you? Are you gonna drop something? Why is there a random knight down here? Okay. Praise the armament. Was he supposed to drop something? Cause he sure as fuck didn't drop anything. Friends? Not friends. You're not friends. Ooh, this is friend though. New merchant? Or I think it is new merchant. Whatever you need. I don't want any trouble. I would not give you any trouble. What do you have? You have a rift shield. Uh, do you have a sword? You don't have a sword. A uh, sword stone key. Uh, you have bewitching branches, though. I'm gonna buy this because I feel like I need it, and I'm gonna not buy that. All right, so cool. Another merchant acquired. We always need those. All right, so let's let's uh. I've been. I don't know if I've been over there either. I one day I will finish this game. There's just so much shit. All right, we can't get there from this direction. So let's go all the way back here then. I'm guessing there's a, a tunnel back here. Or something larger. We're in a nice narrow ravine, perfect for the ganking. Also, that golden tree is very obvious right there. Is something gonna happen? All right, so far nothing happened. Smithing stone five, that's good. I saw a gray site right there, so we'll go in. We'll rest at it and go into whatever this is. Something's taking damage. Oh, one of the bulbous things are taking damage. Oh, hold on. 
to back down. I need two uh, glasses. Boom. No, boom. We need four golden seeds. Fuck, I have three. All right, one more golden seed and we can uh, upgrade. Wait, is this, is this actually nothing? No, there, okay, there's a ladder. I was gonna say, I'd be surprised if that didn't go anywhere. Like a land squid right there, it's random. Oh, we got a mine. A mine. Uh, does it not have a name? All right, we'll get some smithing stones in here, which is a extremely valuable resource. It's pretty quiet in here thus far. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god. Gang squad, hello. No, we'll use that. Smithing stones. Gotta watch those traps on the ground that I blatantly ran through. I, I, you can kind of see them if you pay attention. Really, one of those does it. Okay. Rather not just take poison damage the whole time. All right, so we're going in now. Wait. Now we're going in? Is there anything over here to grab? All right, we're going down. We're, we're going up, actually. Never mind. Oh, item. All right, fuck. Hold on. Bunch of stuff was right there. Oh, we're going way up. Hold on, though. We're going back down first. You have to get up to get down, obviously. Praise the jumping. Not a death fall. It's not a death fall. All right. Cool. I think that was the only item I saw on the way. Yeah, we're good. I'm assuming I heard clanging in the background, so this must be a mine up ahead here. Your eye out for the little orange areas because those are uh smithing stones which we need. No flamethrowers, please. How long are you gonna channel that for, dude? Chill. I you know what? Just whatever, dude, whatever. Give me the poison proc, I don't care. Did I miss anything in here? No. Is any oh, you guys are alive? I heard maniacal laughter. I don't know what the mist those guys throw out actually does, unless it just is mist that like conceal them for a moment.
All right, it was a rune arc, and we got an explosive stone clump from him. That's something. Oh, bomb. Oh, we got a... We, okay, so some of them drop smithing stones, apparently, but they explode. Didn't expect explosion. Rune strewn precipice. Okay. This is a whole different zone, I guess. Are we in a different way? Where are we right now? No, okay, we're still in the overworld. I, I wasn't sure if we went underground or not. I guess we're going up, so we went up soft cotton. I guess let's see where this goes. We're going up or down? We're going up higher, okay. I'm assuming this culminates in a mine of some sort. Maybe maybe not though. Bats. Gotta love fighting some bats on a narrow walkway. Oh, hey, more bats. Hungry bats. That worked out. For a slumber spinning sim. I guess let's. All right, so we can go up or down. I guess. Be wary of down. Okay, that's like into a whole a whole area. Let's go down first. Blows up. Okay. Well, good thing he, he knocked him backwards, so it didn't matter. Wonder if they all blow up. All right, somber smithing soon. Four. I guess that's good enough to come down here for that. And it was kind of like get you to get caught by the trap, I think, more than anything. All right, up we go. Not. Oh, that's clever. Nice. All right, where's everybody at? There's a distinct lack of enemies right here. Oh, I hear a sing I, one of the singing bats is over here. Gold rune and smithing soon four. Oh, there he is. Wonder what a song he's singing. Guess we'll never know. Stop. Oh God, there's more of them. All right, so we can go up or we can go over here. Let's go over here first. It might just be a dead end. Why is it always destruction? All right, so it's a dead end. What did that say? Rump required a hit by the way, did it? What? What? Rump required a hit. All right. jump onto there and would that mean something I can now okay cool that was worth this got a bat why is the land squid right here oh there's multiple land squid Ooh. 
Another smithing stone four. I think we need those for the, at least for the claw mark seal. I don't know about for the, I think our weapon might be past uh, level four smithing stones, but still. All right, where's singing boy at? You gotta die first because he does poison and shit. Oh, is that him right there? That's not him, is it? Oh yeah, that is him. Oh, there's two of them. They have, wait, do these ones have hats on? Are they different? They are different, I think. Okay, they, well, they didn't do that before, I don't think. I'm like fairly certain they didn't shoot the skulls out or the magic. This one has a nice hat though. I don't think the other ones had hats. Rune arc. All right, we can go up that way. Oh, nice. Oh, no. Wait, was that a... Okay, we're good. So we can go up right there. All right, I came down right there, right? Yeah. All right, so we'll keep going. I have no idea what could be at the end of this place. What is a giant Batman? Batman? Another gray site. Damn. Hey, what's up, Retro? You have markers for panel lining now. Nice. Those add a lot to, to kits. Cause I had a, a Gundam marker that I used to use back in the day when I built my two or three kits behind me, and it, it really does make a big difference. Very nice. Where is dude singing from? Unless they respawned. That's probably what happened. All right, well, I have no idea what the fuck's gonna be through here. There's a big fucking wall door here, so. Let's go, bro. It's a very big room. Is it a big bat? It's a big bat. It's a, oh no, it's a magma. Uh, Dragon Worm. Oh, he's a name though. Magma Worm Makar. Well, don't I feel silly having a magma weapon or magma ability? Thankfully, the hits still do a lot of damage. The magma doesn't do a lot of damage though. We were fucking him up. Bam! You're so glad to have this despite the small addition, it really does so much. Exactly, it does make a huge difference. I think it adds so much to, to kits with the panel lining. It gives them a lot of definition, which they lack otherwise. I think we found a door to somewhere else now. What is going on with that gray site? That's not that's not how that's supposed to work. Alright, let's uh spend this, try to level up. I don't know, we probably need like 40k. Do I keep pumping vitality or we think we're good? We'll get one into endurance. Probably should get vitality to 40 though. Oh, okay. This brings you back up to the abandoned coffin. Okay. 
So this is another another way you could have gotten to. Okay, that's how you get to the Altius Plateau first. That makes so much more sense now. If you go through there, you follow all along. You follow that path all the way along there, and then come out over here. Wow. Okay, so you can get to Altius Plateau without the Dectus Medallion like I used. Cool. That's good to know if you need to come here early to get stuff for like your build. But I still don't know what um like what's in this area. There got to be something. Did I find anything here? I don't think I did. Visions of interest. Besides having that dragon attack us, that was obviously a thing that happened. Whoa. Okay, I don't know what that place is. Or that right there. What is this? The volcano cave. Okay, that that's still part of uh, Volcano Manor. Yeah. Okay. Um. I didn't finish Old Atlas Tunnel, and I guess I didn't finish the Windom Ruins, but I did. Um. All right. So. Our marks are so far away. Okay. Um, I'm like curious as to what I didn't finish here. We should have found a gray site there and I didn't either. So we have to go here and then ride back up there. And that's also pointing me somewhere. Second Church Marica. Um, like, look at all that. There gotta be something up there. All right. Let's go over there really quick. I, maybe maybe there was something in Wyndham Ruins I missed. There might I thought there was a, in the Wyndham Ruins there was that one of the boatmen. And there's the tree or the candle person right here. Saying go that way. Wonder if there was something up there that I missed. Oh wait, there's something way up there. I bet I mi that I missed, like way up there. All right, we gotta keep an eye out for a passageway here. Cause the Mariner's down there. Oh, fuck. What is this? Hold on. The Wyndham Catacombs. I did not see this before. I guess we're going to explore some more runes. This is locked, right? Yeah. Oh, fuck. And then I animation locked also. Wait. No, this is just similar to another dungeon, but this one doesn't have the, um... Right, we've got imps. Yield imps. I love these little guys. You don't have to love them for the record. I don't love them. Ugh. 
a lot of damage from them. Oh, fuck. So you can actually redirect that mid-swing, which is cool. I thought these things won't ever drop anything useful. They're so hard to kill. was that? I heard lightning. There's an intimidating man over there. Also, standing watch. Can I open this? Are you? What kind of knight are you? I'm nervous. Oh, wait, you're like okay. Here's the knight. Nice helmet, bitch. Okay, up we go. This oh wait hopefully it's one stone sword key right here surprise attack oh it is one oh god fuck it I'll, I'll use it what was it all for be something good lightning scorpion charm behold liar please be a liar fuck that's all I opened this up for was that. All right, well, what does it do? Lightning, scorpion, charm. Raises holy attack but lowers damage negation. Okay, so it buffs your faith build. I don't like the way he's looking at me. Oh, there's a lever. Oh, there's a knight watching it. Is there? Ah, oh, of course, there's a fucking gank right there. Hey, we got the Lendell Knight Helm, which looks derpy, but we still got it, so that's cool. I would like to it stop moving. I was kind of hoping there'd be something over here. Oh, hold on, is there? Wouldn't I just go? Uh, all right, you have to you have to run back then. I was like, why wouldn't you just like teleport back at the beginning? It's gonna make you trudge back. You know what? We didn't figure out how to go over to the other side. Has to be over over this way because there's like no other way to get over there. I don't think. Maybe there's a hidden wall or something you take. Damn it! I wish I 
course that was it. Well, you're supposed to be a hidden wall. Come on now. Oh. There we go. 3,000 IQ play. No! Literal zombies. They even walk at you like the stereotypical zombies. I just wanted to see what it did. Slimes. Crab! Oh, angry crab. Why did my health bar double like that? Um, I used a rune art that gives me more health. It, 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 like, it activates my greater rune that buffs all my stats to give me more health and more stamina and more magic and everything. It's not doubled though. I just have been investing in vigor also to get more health overall. Ancient Drag Dragon's Apostles Cookbook. So, so yeah, when you pop a rune arc and inactivate your greater rune, which I have Godric's on the first boss right now, but when you do that, the rune arc lets it be active until you die. So it's an it's a expendable item, I guess you'd say. Or a, consu a consumable item, which you do expend. But yeah, so it lasts until you die. So if you don't die, you'll keep it forever. If you die, you lose it. So when you die, it would be even greater reason to laugh. Yes, technically. I lose more now than just, you know, dying and having to go, back, go pick up my runes. I also lose my rune arc that I use to activate my greater rune. All right, let's rest the gray site, then fight the boss. See what we got. Oh, it's a fucking burial watchdog again. Oh, this one got a, a, a zappy, zappy tail. Oh, is it frenzy? No, 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 it's holy. The Earth Tree Watchdog Cat. Oh my god, my health. Full spin. Mimic, I, I got it. Don't worry, buddy. I'll take care of it. All right, we have the Glove Wart Picker's Bell Bearing. So that, that is probably going to allow us to buy Glove Wart at the vendor at the uh, round table, which is really good. Nice. Another dungeon complete. So I actually want to go to the round table. I want to go there and see, um, first off, if anyone has any conversations, I'll start with that. Ugh. No. So I forgot. We have not talked to the give us a hug and debuff us girl in a long time. I am pleased to see you again. Would you like me to hold you once more? Now, come closer. All right, let's give her a hug. Let's see if she gives us uh, any more conversations. It's 
sometimes you just need a hug. You are so very warm. There we go. I was known as a deathbed companion. Where I come from, after I received the warmth and lively vigor from a number of champions, I lay with the remains of an exalted noble to grant him another chance. That's to wild. Live. To do so is the purpose of my being. But before I could bear the noble into new life, I was awakened by the guidance of grace and chased from my birthplace. Pray, be kind, despite all that. I still wish to be a deathbed companion. So please, let me hold you like this, as often as it takes. So she's draining our health. <laughs> uh, do you know? My dear, have you ever heard of Black Knife Prince? I have them. Dear Roger likes to talk of them when abed. And the ancient plot in which the first of the demigods was slain. The black knives wielded by the assassins who committed the act, along with the impressions they made, somehow hide the truth of the conspiracy. These grand affairs are hardly my forte. But dear Roger began to weep as he spoke. Okay. About the black knife, uh, the black knife print. In truth, I've heard tell from someone else about the black knife prints that fascinate dear Roger so. Ooh. But it wouldn't be right to give this to him, stuck as he is oh. in the round table hole. Perhaps you could make use of it? You found a simple map? Check in inventory. I wonder if that's where you get, if, it's, if she's showing you where Ronnie's at. Let's use the blessing she gave us. Uh, Baldekin's blessing is. Fucker. I am pleased. Would you like? Yeah. Now. Let's give her a hug again, and let's see if we can talk to her again. See, so yeah, when she hugs you, you lose like five percent of your health or something like that. But popping so the blessing gives you, lets you um. Pop the blessing, you you remove the debuff, but you also get a poise boost while it's active. So about Roger. I heard that you lent a hand to dear Roger. He seemed positively elated. He must be possessed of great mental fortitude. It anchors his will and sustains him, despite his grievous wounds. You truly are a champion to dear Roger and myself too. Okay. May I ask a favor? My dear, might I ask something of you? Could you please find the owner of this dagger and return it to them? Weather dagger. A certain person gave it to me as a gift. It's a very precious thing. It must have a special place in the owner's heart. So I would like for the original owner to have it back. All right, well, I don't know who gets that. If you wouldn't mind. About the dagger. I'd like you to find the owner of the dagger. It's a very pr okay. Then good day, T. All right, good. I figured we haven't talked to her since like the beginning of the game that we could probably advance a lot of her quest line if I didn't mess it up. So apparently it's not messed up yet. But let's pop that blessing so we don't have the debuff. Greetings. Do you hear this? Talk. I feel like I'm really coming to grips with spirit tuning of late. I can see how and why immortal essence exists. A spirit under the golden order. I can understand their yearnings. What they become drawn to. Master Hugh said it himself, actually. That I'm no mere apprentice any longer. Once again, I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. Moderica, the certified spirit tuner. That's good. All right, let's upgrade our mimic. Cause I think, regardless, he's still strong. Oh, we got a curtsy. Nice. Well, 
I took you for no matter if they are your own. Got anything to say, brother man? Yeah. The girl has come a long way. As ever, time and technique have made her stronger. It is good to see. An imprisoned monster does not deserve an apprentice or a daughter. But at times, that's precisely what she feels like to me. I've gone soft. <laughs> and it isn't easy. All right. Awesome. All right. Increase this because why not? And I'm broke now. Can I sell you anything? I'll sell you one of these. Nice. All right. So we get that was a big boost right there. Up. Uh, we got a weapon upgrade, a sacred uh, seal upgrade, which is the the uh, the beast seal. And we also upgraded the mimic tier, which is all all really good things. Did you need some? Oh, give the weather dagger. Well, what have we here? How did you get your hands on that dagger? Well, that hardly matters. I know very well whose dagger it is. Why don't I return it to them for you? Good work bringing this to me. Uh, okay. Well, hopefully he does something useful. All right, Roger's still not doing too hot. We need to figure out what to do about him, though. Because I would like to, uh, if he has a quest line, I'd like to do it. All right, Nefeli is in here. I have no idea what happened to her, honestly. All right, let's give her the somber the somber miners uh, bell bearing and the glow for pickers bell bearing. So we should be able to buy things now. Yep, glove wart and somber smithing stones. Cool. All right, I want to talk to this dude about that item. We found that item that he apparently leaves on corpses. No. Wait. You have felt the curse. I can smell it on you. The box, yet tender. Apparently my seed bed is ripe and waiting. It was a brief respite, I must say. Go and unshackle my corporeal flesh. Trapped in the sewer jail below the capital. Wait, what? Sewer jail kill. Okay. Kill you and defile your corpse. Then the pox will truly be your own. What a fucking Go nice dude. Why? Why do we? Why were we free him? I don't know. Oh, you you got the uh, so cookie. You clipped the the D's nuts joke you got me with the other day. That's awesome. I will watch it after uh after stream. Journey to the capital, Landau. All right, yeah, Gideon. I know you're telling me where to go in the game. All right, which we already we knew that already. I'm just doing other shit. All right, let's rest. All right, D's gone now. I think. All right, so he went somewhere important. I'm assuming. Let me go talk to Fia now again, and see what she says. Now that he's gone with the uh, the dagger, she wanted us to give to somebody. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, she's gone too. All right. I, I don't know where they go. So that's, that's not great because I don't, I don't know how to find them. Oh, oh no, he's dead. These bell bearing twin helm, twin armor, twin gauntlet. Ah, fuck. Uh, wait, I didn't want to get D killed. Finally. It is returned to its rightful place. What? The stolen Hallowbrand of the exalted noble. And now, I must bid you goodbye as well. Though I ask you deliver this message to the round table hold. I am Via. Deathbed companion. Hark round table. Disturb uh. not the death of Godwin, the exalted. We... Who humbly live in death, live in waiting. To one day, welcome our Lord. What right does anyone have to object? Our Lord will rise. Okay. The Lord of the many and the meek. Uh. Uh. Okay, and she floats away. Fuck. Well, I killed D. I, I don't know if there's a way to avoid that, but you know, he's dead. Is his armor any good? Uh, where is it at? Where is your armor at the... These nuts? Oh, that's right there. 
the, the two known as D are inseparable twins. They are of two bodies and two minds, but one single soul. Not once do they stand together. Not one, no, not once do they stand together. Not one word do they speak to one another. Perhaps armor belongs belongs to find a way to, to the other D. What? What? I mean, you can see there's like two bodies on that. Whatever. Okay. Well, that escalated a little bit. <clears throat> Let's rest and see if we can see if we can talk to Roger. Everyone's leaving the goddamn round table hold. I don't know what to do. No one's here. No more hugs either, I guess. Oh, he died. He's dead, dead. Roger's bell bearing, spell blade, and that's his, his gear. And a letter from him. All right, well, I guess let's see what we got here. Everyone's fucking dying. Letter written in a trembling hand. I forgot to tell you, but it seems D is a younger brother. I heard he lies in a deep sleep in the aqueduct besides the eternal city of Nokron. And instead he stood before the Prince of Death not far beyond that, that spot. Wait, what? The aqueduct beside the eternal city of Nokron. Okay, we can go find that. Now, I wonder if D is meant to be alive for his quest line. Because he's dead. So that might be fucked. Okay, just for Dawn's gears for Cellier. I don't know, man. Some of those fingers don't sit right with me still. All right, well, I guess we can go look for Dee's brother. Um, it's over here somewhere. I mean, that, that's Nokron. And then we have the Knight's Sacred Ground. What is the aqueduct? Like, is it like... Is this an aqueduct? This is like a bridge, though. But yeah, so the guy who died, D, has a twin also named D, apparently, based on his armor's description. So we can find his brother and so Roger's letter said D is a brother somewhere by the Nokron in the by the aqueducts. Uh, I don't these aren't aqueducts though. Right? No. Those aren't aqueducts. Neither is that. So I don't think I I think this is separate like because they said they, they say they never interact him and his twin So we might be able to find his twin here somewhere But it says in the aqueducts. I don't know Where those are uh, In a deep sleep in the aqueduct beside the eternal city of Nokron and it says beside the eternal city So we're in the eternal city, so it shouldn't be in here Oh no. Oh, you can combo this. Look at that. I didn't know that. Well, let's hold it down. All right, well, apparently the, the ball's smart. I'm trying to think if there's anything over here that like I couldn't figure out. Aqueducts are usually like sewers or caves. See, I thought that aqueducts were like like overhead for some reason. I guess I'm thinking the opposite thing maybe.
generally under. All right, well, if they're generally under, then we want to go here. Because now we're underneath the city. It's up there. see what we can find down here we'll just do a quick run through and see if we see anything that like sticks out like i've been to this area a couple times but um we may not have been able to find these brother down here till the quest got activated anyway huh well there's something right there Oh wait, we're not above, we're not above. Hold on. Oh shit. Nothing. Really, this does not put you above where that drop down was? I guess not. This might, though. Oh, yeah, here we go. Wait, what the fuck is that? Hold on, we, we might be onto something here. Bubbles. All right, so I can drop down onto the thing now. Is there anything else up here though while we're here? That's where I started at right there, I think, yeah. All right, there's nothing there. All right, let's drop down and get that. Bonk. Oracle bubbles, cool. Just a spell. I think it's the, the bubble beam those guys are using up above. Alright, do we have anything over here that sticks out as odd? Wasn't there something over here that I couldn't actually do? Squirrel or bubble beam? Pretty much. That's essentially what happened right there. Alright, maybe not. No. This takes us to the upper part. We're still underneath Knocker on here. Be a little higher.
maybe. We'll definitely be under it, but I don't know. Yeah, unless this is it right here. I don't remember if there was something here that led to nothing before. Yeah, see, there's, there's nothing. This room looks just so suspect. Oh wait, door? No, well, I mean, yes, yes, door, but we can't open it. Fuck, okay. Man, that was a really good chance right there too. Not it though. I don't remember that crap being there before. <laughs> So we're back to this gray site. Unless he is underneath here somewhere. Just calm down. Don't don't attack. It's okay. Underneath the aqueduct. Underneath Necron. So this is Necron right here. So we're underneath Necron. Necron. I don't know why I'm doing entertaining these guys. So I think if dude was in here, we'd know. Maybe underneath this waterfall? No, still nothing there. Oh god. Was there something up here? Oh, the zappy thing? There's, there's like these little lightning bolts that are balls that are flying around there that uh, they zap you if you get too close to them. Here's where the merchant is, I think. Hello again, good customer. All right, you got three stone sword keys. I'll take them. Goodbye. 
All right, but that is not where D's brother is. So I'm trying to stay underneath Necron, which is on this side of the map. Uh, unless it's over here. Because that's Necron right there as well. I don't, I don't know. That's a death drop, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Where can we go? We can ignore all these guys. There's no point in trying to fight them. I mean, this area right here looks like it would be the place to be for him. Maybe. And I don't think we really found anything over here necessarily. Like, wait, 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 wait. Did I have, have I been back here before? Is this wall fake? No. Fuck. This is a really good chance, too. Okay. Um. Well. Like, there's nothing in here, right? No. No coffin, no nothing like that. Try death. I don't, I don't want to do that. Don't want to try death. I don't think you can make that jump. Underneath the crawling. Alright, that's, that's not a fake wall either. Um, I've jumped across here before. I can do it again. It doesn't, like, you don't go anywhere. You go, like, right here. Now what? I really don't know. I don't know. There was just an item here, so that's that's not it either. <sighs> there was nothing back there. I can't imagine that's where you're supposed to go. Like, that wouldn't make any sense. Let's go back to OG Knocker on really quick. Take a look over there. It's all death down there. Okay. Aqueduct beside the Eternal City. 
So we're in the Eternal City, so it needs to be beside where we're at, not in. None of this looks promising just yet. Every time. that noise oh I mean this is beside Nockbron right here there's nowhere I can drop down to right there so you can't do that This is where the, the, the mimic to your boss fight was. I don't know either. Dude gotta be here somewhere though. Graphical, there was like a weird graphical glitch right there. I could see through the wall. So, what you can ride this the whole way down. The only thing I'm wondering is how well it's hidden, you know? It could be like super obvious. Or it could be like very, very, very buried somewhere. Hmm, I don't know about that jump. I think I went over here before already. I feel like even if he wasn't like available yet because the quest line, you'd be able to see something. Oh fuck. Well, that's a death drop. Kind of wasted a great rune there, but or in a rune arc, but it was whatever. Yeah, that's kind of a waste, but it is what it is. It's okay. Not the end of the world. Hmm. I really don't know where else to look.
Oh well. So... What is this here? I guess let's go... What? Oh, god damn it, really? I'm under attack! Alright, let's go up here. I'll, I'll leave it there for right now. Um... I was just looking at something. Where'd it go? Is it in Caleb? No. No, it was up here. Okay. I want to go to the old Al Al Altus tunnel because apparently I didn't clear it yet. Yeah, it would it would be convenient if there were names. I mean, you can oh you can do this. Um. It it lists the names of the grave the grave sites by and, and locations. Without having to mouse over all of them, not mouse over, but. Um. You know what I mean? Like, cursor over it. Oh, you know what we could do? Let's go to uh, talk to EG for Ronnie's quest line. We uh, we did the carrion tower thing and got the blade and all that good stuff. Let's talk to him and see what he has to say. Um, there he is. Oh, there you are. Have you heard? Lady Rani has departed on her journey along the dark path of the Empyrean from Rena's Rise, as she calls it. It would not have been possible without you. As Lady Rani's war counselor, and moreover, her childhood warden, I express my deepest gratitude. You and only you were Lady Rani's true champion. My purpose is nearing its end. I've served Lady Rani for as long as I can remember. It has been a long and wondrous journey. Now Lady Rani is in your hands. I pray that you serve her well and to the very end. Lady Rani has departed. All right. Now Lady so Rena's rise was over here. Right there. Let's see if we can go there. I'm curious to see what happens with the Ronnie's quest line now that we've set her on our journey or whatever. And they also mentioned to us that Blade will go mad if she like does what she's gonna do, because he's like a tarnished and he has like one purpose, and if he defies that purpose, he'll die or something like that or go insane. So I think we're gonna have to fight our our wolf bro at some point. It's gonna be very traumatizing for everybody involved. All right, it's open now. Good. Quest progression. Make sure there's nothing. Is there anything here? No. So hopefully she's just here and something happens and we can do something else then. Oh, chest. Well, that's a good start. Oh, it's her set. The Snow Witch set. Ooh. I hope that's not all that's in here. That's cool, but like I was hoping for quests. Oh, 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 oh. All right, let's see where we go. Shit might get real here. Ansel River, Maine. Oh, we're back underground. Okay.
Oh, miniature Ronnie. Uh, that is probably the. It's the doll, I think. Doll resembling Ronnie the Witch. From head to toe, every de detail is perfect. This unresponsive doll seems pleasantly cool. I wonder if that's the doll. Like we were talking to a doll before, so I wonder if that's the doll we were talking to. Oh, it's a drop off. All right, no torrent. Let's see what we find. I mean, I'm assuming we're gonna meet Ronnie for real, like not a doll, like her actual self. But I thought we found her body on on top of the tower, like the uh, divine tower. And the area. I don't think she'll murder me. I don't know though. They like melt away. Oh fuck. Hello. All palace runes. That's a big old centipede looking thing. Yeah, it does not look pleasant. <laughs> Go poke it. I'm, I'm gonna try to poke it. Obviously. Human bone chart. That's the first we found of that, I think. Are you gonna drop down? Oh no. It's too tall. Ooh, look at that thing. There we go. Oh, it's a... Wait, is that an eyeball? There's an eyeball in the skeleton. Okay, so it's kind of like the, uh... The things we fought. The, the, the um... Like, minute those, like, bull... Star things. Okay. Got it. I think. Yep. Somber Spitting Zone 7. <laughs> Up dog question mark. Glow port. Ooh, strong glow port too. Boot me. Oh god, this one's way more aggressive. It has multiple boops. There we go. Wait, it didn't stagger. Did he 
these guys keep spawning or something? I feel like there were none of them, then there was a bunch of them all of a sudden. Madness? Oh shit. I'm stuck on the fucking plant. Alright, it's dead. All for a stone sword key. I'll honestly worth. Summoning ahead? Try jumping. I don't know, man. It's like a bad idea. Let's go back this way for right now. Scared? Yeah, I don't want to die. We're making progress. Right. This looks suspicious. Wait, time for water slide? Oh no. All right, let's do it. Oh, you don't actually slide? No. Oh no, more ants. Why are we going back into ant land? Holy fucking damage on that ant. That's more than they were doing before. Jeez. What is down there? A large man, I think. Great. Killed by an ant. Wow. Dude, that was a big ant. All right. I'll tell you right now. If you walked outside and there was an ant that big, I want to see you not die. Thankfully, I don't think our giant centipede buddy respawns. He does not. Good. Bro, if a fucking ant that big was outside, I, 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 what would you even do? What do you do? You just die, I think. I was hoping it was a water slide like it was implied by the message, but apparently it's just a regular rundown. Boring. Getting back and fight the giant bug? Dude, we trying to fight some kaiju? Why do you do so much damage with your butt spit? Inappropriate. Butt juices. My face. All right, we got ants with wings now. What the fuck? The winged ants. Always back to fucking bug in this stream. Always comes back to bug. But we can kill bug with fire. That's good. Whoa! Hammerhead bug. I think ants like this actually exist. They like block off the, the colony with their heads. Anatomically correct ant. I can't get around him. Poison. Wait, 
Wait, Dan only had one wing? Alright, so there was an ant that way. This looks very mystical over here. I feel like this is towards where Ronnie's at. I kind of want to go back into the hive really quick. See what's going on down here. Well done. No grace hit, therefore try to turn back. Visions of death. Oh, fuck. Oh, this takes you down to that guy, I think. All right, hold on. That might be the right way to go then. Let's go see what's over here. No, not 24 hour stream. Just a little bit later. No secret ahead. Okay. Noxtella Eternal City. Okay, so this is another city underground that we've located now. So I feel like Ronnie's probably in here. So let's grab that grace, but let's go back. And they fucking ride ants here. We have ant riders. Great. Let's go the other way first. We have the grace side here so we can get back. Yeah, those bridges are what you say are like those are aqueducts. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. And so we were on one earlier and I didn't see the dude. So I might need to look up that quest line to, to see how to do it correctly. And it might be fucked up already because D is dead. Unless D's supposed to die. I, I just felt, I kind of felt like he wasn't supposed to die at that time, but I, I don't know. Who this super OP hidden item is. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Wing of Astol. I think that's actually a uh, a weapon for mages. That does way more damage than I thought it was going to do. Man, you're winning. Potion. Was there anything up here? Really nothing? There's nothing here. Wow. Hmm. 
Honestly, I thought there was gonna be something there. Oh well. All right, here's this Eternal City. Um, keep pumping that vitality. I have enough for one more level. Nice. All right, this place is very lowy. Alright, the ant didn't like that very much. Oh, it has red it has purple eyes. That's not good. It's an enraged ant. I kind of expected the, uh, like I, I kind of figured like one of the waterfalls would have a hidden passage underneath of it. So, what are you doing in here? Oh, shit. It's a box. And skull plate. Oh, is that a fucking shield? Kind of cool. Good. Damn, that fucking whip blade. Yeah, gross ass ant. Still get to get up too. So annoying. Then you combo me too. Unbelievable. <clears throat> but I think with that, guys, I'm gonna wrap up for tonight. Um, not a bad stream. We did a lot of side quests. Like we we actually progressed some of the NPCs' storylines that I haven't been doing. Which is good. We found another big boss. Um, it's not a main big boss, but it is a big boss that is worth fighting. Uh, at some point, once we finish the quest line in the volcano um, ruins. Um, so we, we will go do that after we go, I guess, all the way to the giant area, which I don't know when that is in the game. The next main quest is 100% to go to the capital. But I feel like we need to do this, like, Noxtella quest and stuff before we do that. Um, so we'll probably progress through this area next time and see what happens. Um, and speaking of next time, stream, I believe, will be tomorrow. It might change to Saturday. I will let you guys know. Um, but it will be at the usual time. Though. So, anyways, guys, as always, thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Good night.